Good morning, my friends. I had hoped to send a video out to you yesterday, and uh, unfortunately, things didn't go exactly as I had planned. But um, I am uh, happy to be with you all this day to bring you the message that God loves you and that God uh, continues to be with you during this time and that we are praying for you and uh, that in spite of our having to be apart from one another that, um, that we are united in love with one another. I'd like to share with you some words uh, of, of, of reflection and uh, some updates about the weeks to come. Firstly, I'd like to say that we began this season of Lent with me putting ashes on each of your foreheads and uh, saying the words, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. And uh, the, the season of Lent is a season for us to reflect um, on our own frailty, to reflect on our own mortality. And so as such, um, I just want to name that this is perhaps one of the most tragic Lents that any of us uh, can remember as we reflect on the fact that um, we are faced with human mortality that we are faced with this horrible pandemic, which, um, which they're telling us will, um, will claim hundreds of thousands of lives. And so I, I, I hope that you all are praying for our um, nation's medical professionals, and I hope that you are spending time each day in prayer for all of those who are sick from this horrible virus. I personally know uh, several individuals who have it now, including a friend of mine uh, who is my own age, uh, who is a nurse in, in uh, California. Um, it's been three weeks since we were able to gather together in person uh, for worship. And uh, I want you all to know that this time has been very hard for me. Um, I miss seeing you all. Um, I am wrestling with um, my sense of perfectionism. Uh, I am wrestling with um, the desire to be with you. And uh, I think it's important for us to be able to say, we can grieve this time. Uh, we can feel sad about being apart from one another. I also uh, want uh, 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 to remind you all that what you are doing is sacrificing uh, for your fellow human beings during this time. And um, as Christians, we are supposed to exemplify what it means to sacrifice. And so I want to thank you for the sacrifices that you are making. Um, and in this case, they're difficult sacrifices because in a sense we feel like we're not doing anything. And yet in not doing what we normally do, um, we are actually doing what God asks us to do which is uh, to care for our fellow human beings um, by, um, by upholding them and their health and, and their life uh, by keeping our, our social distance. This is something that I need to be reminded of constantly, so I think it's important that I remind you. Um, and I, I think about this in part because uh, as a child growing up, I've shared with you that I was hospitalized on a couple of occasions with asthma. Um, I uh, uh, had a, a pretty bad case of pneumonia when I was in high school. Uh, I remember what it was like to struggle with those, uh, with those things, and, and I'm no longer in a high-risk 
category, but I want you all to know that, um, that I take this very seriously because of the experiences that I've been through and that I really want uh, to, um, to, to protect those uh, who are uh, at risk. Uh, this is all uh, to say that um, we will uh, have several more weeks where we will have to uh, worship together virtually. Uh, as you all know, this upcoming Sunday is Palm Sunday. Following that is Holy Week. Uh, I and Don Kirby and, and Mary and uh, Mary Ann will be gathering again in the sanctuary uh, to offer a worship experience for you to join in at home. I hope that you will do that. Uh, it will be on Facebook Live again, which seemed to work well last week, and I want you to know that I uh, that you can follow the video on Facebook Live, even if you're not on Facebook. You should be able to follow along, even if you're not on Facebook, because our St. James Facebook page is a public page. So uh, know that. I would really encourage each one of you to join us for our Palm Sunday liturgy. I'd also like to share with you that I'm hoping uh, to provide an opportunity for us to have a Bible study over Zoom um, sometime uh, during Holy Week, and I'm also going to help you all uh, to, uh, or demonstrate to you all how to uh, put together a, a home altar for Holy Week so that you and your loved ones can gather at the home altar so that you can read the appointed scriptures for the day, so that you can pray, so that you can remember the great sacrifice that our Lord made for us as we make our sacrifice for one another during this time. This uh, is painful, but it is necessary, and um, I just want to remind you uh, that we're all doing our part in this. I see you doing your part, and um, I want you to know that we will make, make it through this, and we will, uh, uh, as a community, we will come through this stronger and uh, we will uh, uh, rejoice in the fellowship that we will share once this time has ended. Um, likely that will be sometime in May. The latest that I have heard from our uh, diocese is that we will, um, we will be doing virtual worship through May the 10th. And so my prayer is that uh, following that we will be able to gather back together, uh, rejoice together, and there are uh, some people right now who are working on planning uh, uh, an after-church reception so that we can celebrate uh, this, uh, so that we can cele celebrate uh, being reunited uh, in May. Uh, until then, keep the faith. Remember to live into your sense of grace for yourself and for one another. Uh, patience, hope, um, uh, be kind to one another. Um, take this time to be with your Lord. Take this time to listen to your Lord with the ear of your heart. Take this time to read and reflect on the scriptures. Um, take this time to open up your Book of Common Prayer if you have one. Uh, if you don't have one at home, uh, you can find it online for free, bcponline.org. All of the words are there. 
be well and know that um, I love you, that God loves you, and that um, uh, God will see us through this. Amen.